Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss how we can uh, customize the cue ground control and what kind of tools are required uh, to build a custom QGC, how exactly we can add the uh, custom maveling message and then communicate with the px4 so i'm i'm, I'm actually uh, uh building a you know qgc for uh, different kind of custom messages and i'll be creating a set of videos for that uh, today i'll be starting with the custom qgc development then i'll go with the px4 autopilot modification in, in which uh, you can add the custom message and then the same can be streamed on the custom uh, build QGC and later on we will uh, access uh, the same message on the Mavro side uh, and if we need some kind of uh, you know uh, publication or subscription we'll write a simple node for that we'll run it and we'll see what kind of uh, you know uh, programming is required for that what kind of modifications are required from the uh, ROS2 side and Mavros side alright okay so let's begin with the QGC so what we have to do first is we just have to go to this page the QGC guide here the QGC developers have mention how exactly we can set up the tool chain for a custom build of the QGC so first let's check the page uh, here the custom plugins are there resources override lot of things are there customization section is here okay so first we have to go for the developer tool I have uh, already you know gone through a lot of things in this so I have shortlisted uh, some of the sections which uh, are necessary for you know the uh, modification and implementation so we will be selecting that first okay <clears throat> so let's go for this page here we have the Q ground control master okay and the custom build commands will have to look on this page let me just go through the pages and show uh, here it is the application setting analysis developers guide getting started with the source and build okay so this is the page sorry I was looking for that page I couldn't find that okay so this is the page uh, getting started with source and builds okay so the instructions are there on this page let's first clone it I'll open a terminal okay here is my directory I'll just create one you know uh, directory called mkdir let's create the directory naming custom underscore qgc okay now let's go inside that directory and copy paste this command and clone it alright now we are cloning it let it complete and this command will run for uh, you know the update of the sub modules in that uh, cloned folder so let's copy this also still downloading let's wait for that So this page has you know all the uh, necessary information for building the uh, for building of you know the custom QGC so let it uh, I mean uh, clone will run those set of commands 
uh, I could have actually started working parallelly on some of the things but I don't want to mess up the video uh, I just want to go step by step so let's just wait for the cloning and then uh, we'll go to the second step <coughs> Seems like the downloading is quite slow. Okay. Seventy percent, let's wait. Okay, so finally uh, that folder has been cloned and it is uh, downloading these sub modules inside that. Let's wait for that also. So now we have this QGround control. Let's go inside that and run this command uh, just in case we miss some of the modules. So it is saying it is already up to date. There is no problem with the you know uh, cloning of the uh, QGC. Okay. So now we have that. Now let's go to the next step here. So what we have to do is first we have to set up the QG uh, sorry QT. Uh, and for the this master version, uh, you need a Qt 6.8.3 only. Other uh, versions, if you'll use, uh, there might be some kind of issues, which they have mentioned here as a warning. So we will be pri primarily installing only uh, 6.8.3. So let's download the installer from here. let's wait for it to download okay here it is we are on the uh, you know uh, uh, Ubuntu so let's go to this page is asking for I think the login so probably we'll have to log in I'll try this page if they can give the installer without login mm. I don't think it's available let's see some other Part where we can download it directly without logging in mm, it's quite interesting that they're not allowing us to download without login okay oh yeah they have given here okay let's download this it's quite surprising that I didn't see that earlier in this page okay all right so uh, we have downloaded this let the download be completed okay it's done now again we have to come back to this page uh, let's open one more terminal okay let's go to the downloads ok 
okay we have the qt installer here okay i i think earlier also i had downloaded one but we'll be using the latest version so first we need to give the permission for the read write and execution i'll give the permission to the entire folder okay now let's run the qt uh, 4.9 okay here it is now we need to log in I have already entered my ID password so let's submit okay so right now we don't need any kind of you know statics so I'll just select this part let's go to the next part here let's select all the options go to next and let's complete the process okay so here uh, we have reached this page again we need to come back to this page and follow the given instructions okay so here for Linux we need to select the desktop GCC 64 bit and before that we need need to select the custom uh, installation okay so here is the option for the custom installation select it go next and also select the archive option here okay let it uh, fetch all the repositories okay so finally we have all the repositories here now let's go to you know uh, all the QT sections are given here so we'll go here and select our version which is 6.8.3 uh, here it is it's the desktop version is pre-selected so we'll keep it as it is and apart from that it has been mentioned here that select all additional libraries so we'll go to this and select all the additional libraries okay select all of them sometimes it happens that when you don't select the you know archive option it doesn't show this additional libraries so it's better to just go for the archive option and then select it all right finally so uh, I mean we have got all the libraries that we need for a building of this you know uh, QGC now let's go to the next section just go and select this and go next and install all right so uh, the downloading has started once this downloading will be completed uh, it will install Qt and uh, uh, once that is done we'll focus on the compilation of the QGround control uh, generally it uh, shows around 14 to 18 hours to download but that can be speed up by selecting uh, a, a, a different kind of mirror uh, when you are you know uh, running the installer in the beginning for that I have created created a separate video you can follow that as well so let it install and then we'll meet in the next video uh, till then enjoy bye bye